Hello guys, in the previous video we had seen about target and proxy section. Now in this video we will be looking at the repeater section and I will also learn you, I will also teach you something regarding cross site scripting so that we can use the repeater, repeater tab more efficiently. So let me log in. As I told, I will be giving you a quick recap of all the previous things. So I had on I had turned on my both Kalinux and Metasploit tool. You can see both are running fine. Uh, now let me find the IP address of my Metasploit tool machine. Okay, both of them are opened. Okay, so sudo minus cell and password my IP, uh, IP address of my metasploitable is 10.0.2.9 I will open my Firefox and uh, if you think why my VM is faster because I had given 5 GB of RAM and a 4 cores it might the performance might be fluctuated on the both sides like I'm giving more resources I'm getting good performance if you give low resources due to your system uh, capability it, it might be somewhat slower okay now I had pasted my uh, metasploitable IP address and I had turn, turned off my proxy since I'm not having any burp suit running over there so now let me quickly open my burp suit so again there is some problem with this graphical graphic okay no problem at all so now let me turn on my oh no no just a minute yeah i'm gonna close this next start burp and uh, i'm gonna add this start i'm gonna uh, add this meta bull machine to the scope okay target scope and paste the url okay yes okay and i'll go to sitemap and right click on this filter option or in this section okay anywhere click on show only in scope item so it will be less clumsy now i'll be go going to the proxy tab and i'm going to options and i'm gonna select this end since i want to capture the request only to the target that's in scope okay so guys and my intercept is also on now i'll be going to my metasploit pool and i'm gonna do a quick reload and this is not gonna work because i haven't turned on my proxy Okay, now I'll turn on my proxy and I'll do a quick reload. You can see that it captured my request. Okay, so this is all previously what we had done. We had seen, uh, we had intercepted the response, etc, etc, etc. Now, let me also discuss you about cross-site scripting. So, uh, this might be basic. Okay, cross-site scripting is like you, you have a capability to execute a JavaScript code on a HTML page or any page, web page. If you ask me what's the use of it like you can capture the cookies okay you can capture the cookies and you can do a session takeover okay you can uh, paste those cookies you got it from the target and you can paste it in cookie manager or anything like that and you can have the stuff so basically what we'll be targeting is script alert uh, this is a basic javascript and document dot cookie which displays the cookie there C R A. so this is the payload we'll be using okay this is simple payload okay so like this is not necessary but in order to demonstrate this repeated tab i'll be using this uh, cross site scripting so okay so i'll turn off my proxy uh, interception and now i'll go to my browser i'll click on damn vulnerable web application i'm gonna log in Uh, password is also password don't save okay now here you'll uh, find an option called xss cross as xss reflected and make sure that your uh, security is turned low okay since this this is the thing we'll be doing on the lower security okay so th this is my reflected xss page okay now i'm gonna turn on my intercept okay so Guys, in this exercise, we'll be uh, discussing about uh, reflected uh, reflected exercises. Uh, I will tell you what this means. Okay, in the, in the near future. Okay. So, uh, so I turned on my burp and interception is on. So I'm gonna do a quick reload. Guys, we see we had seen that 
a request has been captured but it's useless so we'll capture a request uh, let me give my name Satvik and I'm gonna submit this and you can see the request with the parameter name is being captured by our burp suit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make utilization of repeater so that I can see uh, both request and response side by side. Okay, so I'll show you. So in order to move this request to the repeater, right click on this, uh, on this page or anything like that and click on send to repeater. And guys, you can see that the repeater is getting highlighted. So let me go. So let me uh, intercept off. Okay. And because I don't need any request and you can see that Satvik is getting reflected. Okay. So let me uh, go to my repeater tab and guys, you can see that uh, this is my request and you can, this is the request tab and this is the response tab. When you click on go there, you will, you will, you will be able to see the response. Guys, in the proxy tab, in order to see the response, we need to right click on this, go to do intercept, and then we need to click on do intercept this uh, uh, response to this request. So it is going to be a hectic task, but we can, if you know the how to use the repeater, you can do this easily. So what I will be doing is, I think you uh, will be familiar with a little bit of uh, HTML, which is division tag. These are really simple. So, uh, so the parameter I'm giving is Satvik. Whenever you are searching for a reflected accesses, you need to search whether the parameter you sent is reflecting on the response page or not. So guys, in this response page, you can see something like a, uh, a input field where it searches for us. And you can also see this in the uh, request field also. Okay, so I'm gonna give Satvik. And guys, you can see that my name is getting reflected. So do, if you are unable to cope up with accesses, then you can simply think like we are playing with the request. Okay. But in order to make this more efficient, I'm sh uh, showing you this cross site scripting example. Okay. So what I will be doing is I will be giving a, uh, I'll be giving my payload. So this is my payload, uh, which is in script tag. I'll explain you if you haven't understood. Okay. So what I'll be doing, I'll be deleting this parameter or you can simply go to params. Okay. And guys, you can see in the name, you can double click on this. You can paste it, hit enter. Okay. You can see uh, the same happens here. If you want to work in more efficient way, you can use params, but I like using ra. Anything will be fine. And headers, uh, hex, encoding, everything is fine. Okay. So this is our new request and let me click on go there and uh, I think we got my we got the request so let me paste the payload yeah you can see my payload is uh, reflecting on this page so and guys you can also see something like uh, headers hex HTML code and also render okay uh, so so guys, we had uh, tested the reflection and the reflection is getting over there. And then we had submitted the payload in order to view this response in the browser. Simply right click on this section. Okay. In this section and click on show response in browser. Uh, you'll be getting something like this. Click on copy. Now go to your browser. I'll open a new tab. I'm going to paste it. I'll be hitting enter. And you can see that uh, my cookie details are getting displayed like since we had done alert we got this stuff okay and not only this you can play around with the request like you can add some new stuff and uh, check whether they are getting reflected or not like this is like testing the web application okay testing the web application with um, more and more requests and searching whether for what request it's giving it's giving up like this cross-site scripting etc etc the reason why i'm targeting cross-site scripting is after completion of this course when you head over to this bug bounty hunting all the instructors like they will be good instructors they will be uh, mostly focusing upon the repeater section repeated tab or section or tool in order to explain you the cross-site scripting 
and remember remember my words this is going to really happen because no instructor can teach you or any hunter can do this cross site scripting as easy as uh, giving and testing things out okay so that's uh, so that's the re that's the location or that's the area where this repeated tab is going to use okay so and also something like uh, that's all and there will be no more sections here okay there will be no more sections if you capture a new or a, a, a new request you can send click on send to repeater and this will be going on going into the another tab this is gonna happen okay so you can also see the same request and responses it's like a uh, burp suit is built with requests and responses okay you will see this section everywhere in every tab or any tool or section you will find the request and response with them with them you'll also find the parameters headers hacks and guys uh, there's something like much more deeper things like adding some new parameters uh, poisoning the headers this uh, this is the stuff i should not be teaching you because i'm the one who took responsibility to teach you burp suit okay so guys this is all regarding the repeater and in the next video we will be looking at the intruder by brute forcing some pages so meantime by entering to the next video make sure that you practiced everything fine and make sure that you understood everything fine if you haven't understood or if you are having any doubts please uh, comment below so that I'll help you as soon as possible. Okay. So thank you.